But today, we're talking about the Garmin Forerunner 245. Now, this thing is an absolute beast. Um, for I think it's on sale right now for about $150. Um, to around $200 I think it's on sale for right now on Amazon um, but I couldn't have asked for a better watch like I mean also look at how cool I've been able to customize it I made it into the fallout guy um, I don't know how good it is yeah I literally made it into the fallout guy and it tracks my heart rate um, and it has my calories the time and also my step count on all on this entire face so before I got the forerunner I've been rocking the Apple watch SE for a while and it I think it's a great product for those who just want you know ease of access to track your workouts and stuff like that but I kind of wanted a little bit more and a little bit more customization and I found that the forerunner is just better I also wanted to track my sleep and I wanted to have other measurements to track because the SE does not track everything and um, just for 200 bucks, I got this and it tracks my sleep and it tracks my um, VO2 max, it, even though that's not the best indicator on this because you need to really go to a lab for those, but it tracks so many things. And right now I'm just gonna go show you guys like what it's all about on the app because there is an app connected with Garmin, which is called the Garmin Connect app. and. It's really unique. Um, it has my activities listed out here. Um, you know, the running that I've done, and it also includes the cycling. I just cycle. I just did indoor bike today, so maybe it's not on there right now. But those are the activity, and then here's the great part: the health stats. So I see, I use this for my sleep. I was I didn't wear it last night because I had to charge it for today's video and for working out as well. But um, if we go through like this was my sleep yesterday all right and look it gives me my spo2 <laughs> i don't really know what that really tracks i just know that it needs to be above 95 percent if you want to be healthy um oh i got a low 87 percent. that's not too good but um uh, has my average respiration my heart rate and you can add notes to it too so you could track your sleep and like how your how many hours has been effective for you and uh, let me go back and you can even track it over I've had this for almost a month um, and you could track it look like on average I'm getting six hours and 30 minutes it's terrible but you know we do what we got to do sometimes oh I even had a four hour sleep like it literally has all of it tracked down to the T and it's awesome I love it and it even when there's a check mark that means you've gotten a great amount of sleep so um, love that now we can go into um, you can put your weight in I haven't put it in yet um, blood pressure I think you need a different thing for that actually sorry um, you could track your how much water you drink on here um, your stress levels which is very interesting because I haven't charged it enough to ever get to 100 100 so i don't know if that's like even possible to get to 100 i don't know it's called body battery here as well where like um i meant body battery not not the stress um but body battery i've never gotten it to 100 so i don't know if that's even possible it's basically just how much energy you have uh for the day and how much you've recharged while sleeping so the highest i think i got was like 60 i don't know um it may have actually said that and i just like completely missed it but no it didn't so um, there's that um, uh, and then you could you could even get a coach on here you could get uh, friends on here um, and performance stats like see you have all this stuff training status um, yeah my vo2 max sucks yeah thank you <laughs> uh, race predictor I've been running now um, training for the marathon I'm gonna make a video for that separately like what I'm doing um, so right now I'm looking like a terrible pace for the marathon um, for my age group at least I'm trying I want to get that to like I want to finish I don't know what a really what a great time is um, for my age group I just know seven is a little OD um, but I may be uh, tripping on that um, anyway now going to now going into the watch store where you could get like the different faces how I got the fallout guy 
um, it's called the Connect IQ store. And here you have all of your um, watch faces that you want. So you get this one, like these are cool. But I saw the Fallout guy and it was like, I, I knew I, I really wanted that one. And you could also get different um, things to track. So like I have on my device, let me see if I have it. Um, yeah, you can get different data fields. So I, I wanna go back into jump roping. So literally like there's a, if there's a, Acti there's not an activity on the watch already for jump roping so I um, install this as a data field and then um, it comes up on here and then it counts how many times I'm jumping rope based on my movement with my arm same thing with the gym sets counter I don't think it does this um, by itself so I had to get that and um, it's great and then here's the watch face if you guys wanted to try it, it's called Pip Boyish um, I didn't even realize there were different styles of it but I really like this one and that's what that looks like and so that's that's basically all it is with with the app and tracking amazing feature um, into the watch itself here I'm gonna give a little rundown of it which I should have done first but here on the back you have a charger and it plugs into this right here beautiful and simply the watch right here is for the light so you can see it clear but also if you hold it down you go into a different menu where you could set an alarm and different timers and you can have music there's also emergency and how to scroll between those up and down let me keep the light on is um, right in the middle you go up so you can see that and then the bottom button is to go backwards um, so that's two and then to go back to the regular menu you go on this side where um, the start button is right here so this bottom button and that takes you back to the main menu and here too you can see your own uh, statistics without even utilizing the app so you could just hit this back button right here um, and it'll go scroll through all your stats right here and if you just hit enter right here you can go into them even more um, see this was my workout for today um, yeah it's sick I, I mean I love it it's also waterproof fantastic because I want to get into swimming again um, there's a lot of things that I want to do that um, like I said in my weight loss video that you know not understanding too much of my direction in college has led me to be sort of um, stagnant in some other areas and not caring about my health as much so now I'm getting back into that and um, I'm excited and I think the forerunner this like I intend to fully upgrade because there are some features that it doesn't um, have that like the Phoenix Pro does but like I don't need that right now you know I just need something that tracks it um, efficiently and gets me through my workouts and my training for the marathon but I love it I also like this design as well it's pretty like minimal and I understand now the appeal of the Garmin a bunch of my friends who were runners in high school and a bunch of uh, friends that I have running into college right now utilize the Garmin and they say it's better and finally again the battery life phenomenal I don't have to charge this like every seven days I, I charge it on a Sunday that's when I charge it because it literally is with me it's on me 24 7 I mean you know most of you who know me like I, I like putting on watches and stuff like that like honestly I literally wear this because um, you know it gives me notifications like the Apple watch text messages tells me when to move if I'm sitting down too much tells me if my heart rate is abnormally high or low all those type of things so it's a beautiful uh, watch and I definitely recommend it um, to me Garmin's better than the Apple watch I'm never getting an Apple watch again um, I may try like other uh, sport watches because I know there's another one. I think it's uh, the Cora Pace 2, uh, which I've been hearing is really nice. But again, I don't have that capital right now. Um, so we're going to stick with the Garmin for now, get an upgrade and try out some other stuff um, because I want to give some reviews as well. But that's basically it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the quick little rundown of the Garmin watch. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.